Now we're going to take a closer look on how to achieve high quality renders with low file sizes. Here's one animation video rendered in two different ways. The first one is rendered in the built-in render queue, which is how we usually start off using. But we can see a major file size here of 200 megabytes just for this five second video. On the right side though, we are using Adobe Media Encoder instead, which not only maintains the high quality, but also reduces its file size down to just four megabytes. So now I'm going to take you through the settings I'm using in order to achieve this result. We're now in After Effects and after you selected the portion you want to render in the timeline, we can go up into the menu of Composition and then select Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. And that's going to open up this program in a new window. We can click on the first one here under Format. That's going to bring up another pop-up where we can select the format in the top and I'm selecting H264. And then I'll continue on the next drop-down which is around presets and different recommended settings for social media platforms, different use cases, dimensions, and so on. But for now, I'm just gonna match the source in the top here. Then I can go down and change the name. I can export video or audio or both. I can change the width, height, I can lock the constraints, frame rate. There's a lot of things here that you can change, but let's go down a little bit to the bitrate area. And this is where you can adjust the file size. So you can drag the slider from left to right and decide your target bitrate. The higher you do it, the larger the estimated file will be. And as assumed, you will lose some quality when going down in bitrate, but for the most part, you will still maintain great quality. So now we go down and click OK, and we are ready to render. And you click the green play icon in the top right. And we are done. It wasn't more complicated than that, and you are ready to go and render out your high quality work in low file sizes. Hopefully this was useful for you. And if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up to help me out here on YouTube. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at Velgrove to stay updated with the latest. Subscribe for more and I'll be sure to see you very soon again.